Good day everyone, my report is all about SCADA and its application in electrical power systems. So in this report, I'm going to talk about a brief history kung bakit nga ba ginagamit ngayon sa electrical power systems ang SCADA. Also, what is a SCADA, key features, components and its functions, applications of SCADA, and advantages and disadvantages. So now we are in a digital world, so we are looking for a new opportunities to automate and para mapabilis yung workflows and industrial processes. So since the invention ng computer and internet, machines began to integrate computing technologies within the system. So this advancement in conventional systems started the new age of industrial revolution. So sa industrial revolution na to, kasama dito yung power system. So power systems have evolved according to the needs of investors, consumers, and operators over the last decades. Enterprise resource planning solutions has led power systems to automate. And so, during mga late 20th century, nagumpisa na yung incorporation ng SCADA sa power systems. In the early years, when electric power systems began developing, Electricity generation plants were only associated with the respective local loads. If anything failed dun sa connected system, which could include yung mga subsystems like generating plant, power lines, and mga connection, then the lights would be out. Customers had not yet adapted to depend on electricity. Outages, whether routine or emergency, were taken as a matter of course. As reliance on electricity grew, so did the need to find ways to improve reliability. Generating stations and power lines were interconnected to provide the redundancy. As the system expanded and began to scale out in size, it became harder to manage. Solutions were needed to face the challenges of controlling equipment over long distances. To overcome this, operating personnel were often stationed at the important points in this grid system so that they could monitor and quickly respond to any problems that might arise due to any fault or failure. They would communicate with central electricity dispatchers, often employing telephone, to keep them informed about the condition of the system. Many manufacturing floors, remote sites, and industrial plants relied on personnel to monitor equipment and manually control through mechanical push buttons and analog dials. As the demand for reliable electricity grew even more and as a labor became a significant part of the cost of providing electricity, technologies such as SCADA were developed which allow remote monitoring and control of the system's key parameters. So what is SCADA? SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. SCADA is a system of different hardware and software elements that come together to enable a plant or facility operator to supervise and control processes. Supervisory control is a general term for a high level of overall control of many individual controllers or multiple control loops. It gives the operations supervisor an overview of the plant process and permits integration of operation between low-level controllers. Yung data acquisition naman is the process of sampling signals by measuring a physical property of a real world in the form of signals and in converting it from analog waveform into digital numeric values so that it can be processed by computing machines. So some of the features of the SCADA systems are as follows. The supervision. Computers process the data and let personnel in charge to oversee and direct the status of the power system using the acquired data. Personnel in charge were often operators and engineers who monitor the information remotely or locally. Now the master station is tasked to supervise most of the system. Control. Control in SCADA refers to sending command messages to a device to operate the instrumentation and control system and power system devices. Conventionally, SCADA relies on human managers to initiate command from an operator console on the master computer. Field personnel can also control machines using front panels. Data collections. Instead of collecting data and filling data sheets by hand, SCADA automatically compiles information in real time. SCADA gathers data from hundreds or even thousands of sensors at a given time. It also generates backlogs for data analysis. Data communication. 
SCADA delivers information to a central hub, a communication network transport all the data gathered from sensors. Earlier systems had radio or modem. Today, SCADA data is transferred over internet protocol or uh, ethernet. Data presentation. SCADA interacts with human operators through workstation computers that deploy the human machine interface, or the HMI. The master station presents a widespread view of the whole system and alerts the operator by visual display and alarm sound. SCADA systems comprises of the following components. First is the sensors. Field instruments are an array of transmitters, monitors, and sensors. Sensors are the transducers which detect changes in physical quantity. These sensors can be analog or digital, but ultimately their purpose is the same. Sensors help its users uh, to measure and collect data from various locations. So the more complex a system, the more sensors we may need in place. Next is the conversion units. Sensors are responsible for collecting data, but we also need something to be able to receive and interpret the data. So this is where conversion unit comes in. Conversion units are the computerized units deployed at a specific location in the field. So these are, the connect, uh, are connected to sensors. They convert the information they receive into digital format, which is then sent to the centralized system to display. The two most common types of conversion units used in SCADA system are PLCs and RTUs. Yung PLC or your programmable logic controllers are good for situations where we want more localized control. The programmable logic controller is an industrial digital comput computer designed for output arrangements and multiple inputs. PLC is used sometimes in place of other conversion units due to their versatility, um, flexibility, affordability, and configuration. However, one may need good programming skills to make the most out of it. Yung RTU naman or the remote thermal units are microprocessor controlled electronic devices. Their objective is to interface a SCADA system with a sensor or whatever object the RTU is connected to. Normally, they transmit information through wireless communication, therefore they are considered good for functions covering a broad area geographically. So these conversion units assist as local collection points for gathering information from sensors and delivering commands to control and protection relays. Next is the communication network. SCADA system cannot exist without a properly designed communication network system. All the SCADA system aspects rely solely on the communication network. It provides a channel for the flow of data be uh, between the supervisory control, the data acquisition units, and any controller that is connected to the system. The main function of a communication network within a SCADA system is to connect the conversion units with the SCADA master station. The data can be transmitted through various communication platforms such as Ethernet, telephone line, power line carrier communications, uh, optical fiber line, cellular, radio, satellite, Wi-Fi, microwave, or other wireless protocol. Most facilities have specialized integrated network connectivity uh, field buses, wired or wireless, due to security reasons. Also, it has the master unit. Master units are larger computer consoles that act as the central processing hub for the entire SCADA system. The master unit offers a human-machine interface to the system and automatically regulate the managed system based on the response of the uh, inputs created by sensors. The master unit is considered to be the supervisory computer system because they serve as the SCADA system centralized processing unit. Although the units themselves are typically larger computer consoles, there are several other SCADA components such as software programs and HMIs, which would be named under this category as well. Uh, generally speaking, human-machine interface is a user interface or dashboard that connects a person to a machine, a system, or a device. In a SCADA system, it allows the operator to view and interact with the collected and processed data. 
So this interface is usually used to perform tasks like collecting data, creating maps, uh, diagrams, sending out notifications, and making reports. Lastly is the Remote Communication Server or the RCS. After processing and analyzing the data gathered in the SCADA system, one needs a digitally and physically secure place to store this vast database. So the Human uh, Computer Interface or the HCI or HMI commonly requests data from a server responsible for data acquisition. It is a component of hardware that is used to connect software services to the conversion units out in the field. So the server makes data acquisition from these local units possible. Well, there are lots of sectors where SCADA can be used, but in this report, I'll just only highlight the application of SCADA in electrical power system. So commonly, SCADA systems are used when a need arises to automate complex processes where human control is not feasible. So sa power system, this can include the yung system that needs an uninterrupted power supply and a protected environment. Also, if we would need to know the status of complex power system in real time, and also if we would need to monitor and control systems that are in remote areas. So the power generation, transmission, and distribution sectors, supervision, monitoring, and control are the main aspects in all these areas. Therefore, the SCADA implementation of power system improves the overall efficiency of the system for optimizing, supervising, and controlling the generation, the transmission, and the distribution systems. So SCADA function is the power system network offers greater system reliability and stability for integrated grid operation. Bringing an optimal solution for each process to involve in power generation operation is flexible um, in advanced control structures. With the use of PLCs and powerful BAS uh, communication links along with SCADA software and hardware in generating stations, it supervises several operations including protection, monitoring, and controlling. To provide reliable energy, to minimize operational costs, and to preserve capital investments, the SCADA system is taken as seriously in generation stations. So the highlighted functions of SCADA in power plants uh, include yung continuous monitoring of speed and frequency of electrical machines, uh, geographical monitoring of cold delivery and water treatment process, electricity generation operations planning, control of active and reactive power, boiler and turbine protection and their condition in case of thermal plant, monitoring of renewable energy farms and load dispatch planning, load scheduling, historical data processing of all generation-related parameters, supervising the status of circuit breakers, protective relays, and other safety equipments, power apparatus health monitor, and the sequence of events recording. Transmission line corresponding uh, circuit model parameters are often an error as compared to values measured by SCADA system. So without a SCADA system, these errors cause the economic dispatch to be erroneous and hence lead to increased costs of incorrect billing. So these errors could also affect state estimator analysis, uh, contingency analysis, short circuit analysis, distance relaying, uh, machine stability calculations, and transmission planning in case of expansion. Therefore, SCADA integration into a transmission system is significantly considered. So some main functions of SCADA in electric transmission system are as follows. Yung rerouting services for station maintenance, service restoration, protective relay interface interaction, uh, voltage regulation management, load tap changer control, transformer management, real-time modeling, automatic circuit isolation control and interactive switch control display, interface real-time single line displays, online operation and maintenance logs, automatic system diagnostics by using system-defined controller alarms. The power distribution system 
uh, deals with the dispersal of electricity from distribution substations to the loads. Many utility companies depend on manual labor to perform the distribution tasks like interrupting the power to loads, early checking of key metrics, fault diagnosis, and etc. SCADA implementation to the power distribution not only reduces the manual labor operation and its cost, but facilitates smooth uh, processes by reducing disruptions. So SCADA system gathers the data from various electrical substations and correspondingly processes it. PLCs in substations continuously monitor the substation components and correspondingly uh, transmits that to the central system. So, it is in charge of improving efficiency by maintaining a tolerable uh, range of power factor, limiting peak power demand, trending and alarming the operators by identifying the problem spot, historian data and viewing that from remote and barely inaccessible locations, quick response to customer service interruptions, feeder automation and load sectionalizer, Provide the ability to override automatic control of capacitor banks, automated meter reading, circuit breaker control, lockout and interlocking, and continuous monitoring and controlling of various electrical parameters in both normal and abnormal conditions which may affect the quality like harmonic distortions. SCADA systems are an extremely advantageous way to run and monitor processes. So, one of the advantages of SCADA is that it optimizes performance. So, SCADA systems minimize errors by accurately measuring data and increasing the overall efficiency of the system. Also, um, it is reliable and robust. So, the specific development of SCADA is performed within a well-established framework that enhances reliability and robustness where power requirement is crucial. It also maximizes productivity. And also, it improves quality. It analyzes and controls the quality of the produced electric energy profile using standard SCADA functionality. Also, it reduces operating and maintenance costs. Less personnel and trips are required to monitor field gear in remote locations. This reduces maintenance and training costs. And lastly, it integrates with the business systems. A SCADA system can be easily integrated with the business systems leading to increased production and profitability. So, uh, one of the drawbacks of SCADA is that PLC-based SCADA system is complex in terms of hardware units and dependent modules. Also, it, um, as the system is complex, it requires skilled operators, analysts, and programmers to maintain SCADA system. The installation costs are higher, the system increases unemployment rates, and the system supports use of restricted softwares and hardware equipments. So in conclusion, SCADA system can be implemented on a large scale in a power system so as to increase their performance, uh, reliability, and durability. Data acquisition and monitoring can be very convenient and accurate uh, if power systems are upgraded to SCADA. Now, electrical systems are extremely efficient and intelligent to monitor and control all of the involved operations and procedures and it has become possible only because of the technological advancements.